Hello and welcome back to Rob's Homemade and today we are here <coughs> for another plant menu uh, Aldi's if you watched mine and John's video of the Aldi's plant menu food tasting you will have seen that I bought smoky chili jackfruit but I actually got um, what was it? Mango and red pepper, that was it. Mango and red pepper curry, which was actually the nicest out of the three that we shouldn't have had. So I went back to Aldi and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and have a look and get me one of the jackfruit chilies that I was supposed to be trying. And guess what? It took me four attempts because I checked every one. And every single one of those, apart from this one, had that mango and red pepper curry. And so, it's not a big aisle there because I love Aldi's, they do some amazing stuff. So, I, the staff there, I went over and said, listen, excuse me, this is the second time I've been in there and picked up one of these and it's got the wrong thing inside it. I showed her, she was really apologetic, she was really good, she was like, I'll go and, uh, I, I think it's something to do with the people who supply us. I says it probably is, I said they probably put the wrong packet in the wrong sleeve. I says, but you might get a lot of complaints about it. She was like, I'll go see the manager and we'll sort it out. And I was quite happy with that. And the staff in the Aldi in Dudley on Birmingham New Road are always happy, always smiling, always friendly. You never go in there and they've got miserable faces. So fair play to Aldi and the staff in Dudley for doing an amazing job and keeping your chins up every day because we all go to work some days we can't be bothered or we don't want to do anything and it can affect us but you guys from what i see are two or th two sometimes three times a week you guys do an amazing job so big up to the aldi and dudley for their staff so anyway we are actually going to try or i am the aldi's plant-based menu Smoky jackfruit chili at last. So, ingredients we have cooked brown rice, green drip jackfruit 25%, water, salt, pepper, red pepper, red onion, uh, tomato puree, smoked paprika, parsley inverted syrup, flavoring, chipotle peppers. So, I've microwaved it. For the available time i've never ever tried jackfruit before so this is going to be an experience for me as a non-vegetarian vegan person but i quite enjoyed a couple of those meals that me and john had especially like i said the one that we shouldn't have had this is steaming absolutely steaming hot so let's go and see what jackfruit is all about it smells you can smell the smokiness from probably from the paprika I'm gonna try and find a nice big piece of jackfruit which I'm assuming that is it I've never tried it before so I'm really interested to see what it tastes like it's got the texture of a boiled potato but this I wouldn't have called it a chili I'd probably called it more like a a vegan pulled pork that's more what it's like texture wise and look wise But you know what? The flavour is pretty damn good. It's got no real spice to it. You could spice it with yourself, I suppose, put a bit of cayenne, a bit of chilli powder or something in there. Give it a bit of a kick. Because with it being classed as a chilli, I'd expect to find maybe a few kidney beans or something, but there's plenty of chunks of red pepper. The jackfruit's quite nice. I don't like to explain the taste because it's coated in the smoky um, flavourings. It's 
jackfruit, red pepper, red onion in a smoky chipotle chili sauce. And that's true. It's smoky, it tastes really nice. But to be honest, I would have called it a pulled, a pulled jackfruit and rice, because that's more what it's like. Mm. To be honest, with the texture and everything else, you don't, this is gonna sound crazy for me, you don't actually miss the meat, the meat, the meat texture, the meat flavour, yeah, maybe, but you don't actually, if you close your eyes, you'd think you probably would be eating pulled pork. So, <clears throat> heat rating, obviously I'm not gonna give it a heat rating because they've, they've not said, they've give it a mild one chili rating. I wouldn't even go that far. But there's plenty of red pepper, plenty of onion, Plenty of jack jackfruit. The rice is still reasonably good. It's not soggy, it's not overcooked. For what it is, a vegan meal. I'm gonna give that an eight because it's good. It doesn't replace a proper a chili with your beans and your mince or your, your dash, uh, shredded beef in there. You're never gonna replace, well, in my opinion, you're never gonna replace that. But that's not what this is all about. It's about, uh, excuse me. It's about having an alternative to meat. And you know something, over these last few videos with this plant menu, and I could quite happily eat a vegan meal maybe once a week because them take they am tasted you can't deny the fact that the flavor is in these meals you can't deny that fact at all just because there's no meat doesn't mean it's flavorless and it's not I've always said you're never gonna convert me ever you will never ever convince me to give up wings, to give up ribs, to give up chicken breast, and all that type of stuff. It's not gonna happen. I'm a carnivore, end of conversation. But do you know what? If Aldi do continue with this plant-based menu, on certain nights, I might go, do you know what? I'll go in there, I'll pick up a vegan meal, and I will enjoy it. Because I actually really, really enjoyed that. The smoky flavour from the chipotle was bang on. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to give that an 8. Heat rating, I'm not going to give it a heat rating because you don't deserve a heat rating. And I'm not saying it's hot or anything like that. But it's good. And I'm actually glad I went back and got one of these and got one properly to try it properly because that, if I see that again, I'll probably chuck one in my basket, maybe chuck it in the freezer and have it in a later date when I'm rooting through and all. Oh, I don't fancy chicken, I don't fancy... I don't want to have a lot of that. And that will be my vegan alternative. Like I said, maybe once a week I'll go meat free. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. <clears throat> but who knows, even if I did it once a month, it won't do me any harm. And they are flavours and meals. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my review with smoky jackfruit chili from the plant menu from Aldi. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will be back very, very soon. Peace! Oh yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. One more thing, and I just wanna go back to a point I made earlier. Aldi staff, are really good. The Dudley staff, I know most of them by face, not by name, but by face, to say hello to. If you always when you get to the till, uh, how's your day going? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine, blah, blah. And you can have a conversation with these people. You can interact with people where I have had issues in other major supermarkets 
where I've fallen upon deaf ears, no one's interested, no one wants to know, but I'm not going to get into a rant about it because I've done that, and if you know the video I'm talking about, you know the video I'm talking about. But I just want to say, once again, at the end of this video, Aldi, I don't know if you pay well, because I've never looked into it, but your staff in the Birmingham, um, the Dudley store on Birmingham New Road are amazing, and they are a credit to you. So thank you very much for those, for making my trips to Aldi. Enjoyable every time. The, nothing's ever too much for them. You say, oh, I, I can't find this. Yet. Yeah, it's just around the corner there. And the whole, it's only a small store. All the staff are knowledgeable, and that's what I like. And that's the experience I like to have. So I'm going to leave that there and big up the Dudley staff at the Aldi. So thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye.